a warning to viewers, uh, the following video presentation does include some salty language. <laughs> G'day. One of my favourite shows on the YouTube at the moment is The Flat Earth Debate on the Nathan Oakley 1980 um, YouTube channel. Uh, it, it's good. It, it's quite informative. I've learned a lot from watching that um, and listening along. I've, I've, I've actually listened to over 800, nearly probably 900 of his shows. And yeah, you've, I've learned quite a lot from watching it. And I've been highly, highly entertained like I was today. Um, there's a particular character that keeps popping up um, in his debate show, um, <laughs> offering nothing of any value. And he always gets slapped down for his stupidity. This bloke uh, goes by the name of Highlander. Um, so I made a little comment uh, <laughs> <laughs> at the end of Highlander's appearance on this show, just because he cracks me up and I couldn't hold my tongue any longer. So I'm going to share that little comment that I left and the exchange with a couple of fuckwits that I had after it. But before I do, I'm just going to play you um, some audio from the show. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll play some pretty little um, fish swimming around in it as well. So you don't have to watch it. Um, you don't have to sit and watch this video. You can put it on while you're doing some stuff. Um, and just have a bit of a laugh along with <laughs> with me after this. So I'll just show you um, what prompted me to uh, leave the comment. And this is just after a long string of his appearances. But finally, I made a comment about the stupidity of this bloke who goes by the name of Highlander. All right, so for, so some background, here is some audio and some pretty fish. Okay, so from all, so from all that word salad, I get the... You don't believe it's a clock because you believe See, it's this a is, clock. This is why you're stupid, clock. Highlander. You don't yes, even realize stupid. it wasn't <laughs> word salad. Let's, let's have it out with Highlander. I, I don't mind humiliating him because he's completely misrepresented what I'm saying. I just say, I'll try it on you, Highlander. Clock. 20 miles. That's all I say. Because it is. So what's with the hologram then? Oh, you see, the problem is that People who see that clock and then go to a calculator that presupposes Earth is spherical would suggest that because the calculator says you shouldn't see the clock, that the clock that we do see, remember me saying clock, 20 miles, that clock that shouldn't be there based on your model is in fact a refracted holographic image from behind what you call Earth curve and I call the horizon. So you would reify the horizon into an earth curve edge and then say that the clock is behind that earth curve edge, but because it's a hologram, we can see it when it's not really there. So for you who believe you're on a sphere, it's not a clock, it's a slightly looming non-standard refraction hyena holographic projection of a clock from behind the reified edge of a sphere, based on an R value, you presuppose, and a begging the question, proof of nothing, perspective hijacking curve calculator, to turn a clock that I see and say, clock at 20 miles, into a clock that's not actually there, because you believe it's behind the model that says it shouldn't be there. So then if I take this, the exact same scenario and go to a flat earth calculator, is that not me presupposing that the earth is flat and stationary? Uh, no worries. Uh, we, Sorry, we, we, I'll try again. Calculator. Sorry, what am I calculating? It's just a picture of a clock that I can see. Do I need to calculate why I can see it? No, no need. I can verify it with my eyeballs. There it is. Clock, 20 miles. Oh, what's that you say? According to your calculator, it shouldn't be there. Therefore, a mirage. Who these people be? Sorry, what hey, calculator? So that, that, that brings me back to the uh, original. You haven't answered me. Asked you you haven't answered me. You asked me a question. I got terms and clarity. It got ignored like last time. What am I calculating, dickhead? I'm just looking at a picture of a clock. I don't need to calculate Jack. You do because you're according said you went shut up, curve shut up. This what is why you're dumb because you can't listen. 
I'll try again. Shut up and realise why you're stupid. I just see a clock. No explanation required. You see a clock, but according to your model, it shouldn't be there. Do you get it? No explanation or measurement required. You're asking me about how I measure it in my flat earth model I don't have. And I'm pointing out, there's nothing to measure. It's just a picture of a clock. Which your model that you reify says shouldn't be there. But so we say we're saying it it shouldn't be there. So yeah. who who is we? Yeah, fundies who reify the Earth curve into the horizon based on an R value you presuppose and are begging the question: proof of nothing, perspective hijacking curve calculator. Third time I've said it. Try to listen. Okay. Not okay. Your reification of a globe model that is just a concept versus me looking and saying clock, oil rig, lighthouse. You say no. Mirage. Based on my model and an R value. Who the fuck do you think you are? Okay. No. It's a lie about our world. It's a fucking outrage! When did I say it was a mirage? I... You said it was okay! And what do you think a slightly looming, non-standard refraction, high in a holographic projection of an oil rig from behind a reified edge is? It's what you dick summarise as a fucking mirage! I never said that. Yeah, you do! That's you your religion, that. you're a globe head! It's not... It's not a stereotype fallacy. It's announced on the news and your religion. What you see here is a mirage. No, it's a fucking town. I'm not religious, Nathan. Yeah, you are. You believe in a R value. An R value you presuppose to turn a clock that we say is there, because we've got a photo of it, into a mirage. That's your religion. Yeah, you're saying that, not me. You are the one who turns the clock, the Chicago skyline, the oil rig, the boat, anything else that shouldn't be there, according to your religion, into a mirage. Not me. I say oil rig. I say clock. I say lighthouse. I say Chicago skyline. Why? Because there it is in a picture. You say mirage. Because your model says it shouldn't be there. A reification based on your religion. I don't have a religion. And yeah, you do. Heliocentrism. The idea that Earth is a spinning ball circling the sun. That's a religion. No. May I say yeah, something? you don't have to like it, you stupid fundy moron. You're a fundamentalist, religious zealot. Your religion is heliocentrism. You don't have to like it, you fundy, globe head, religiotard. You're the one that said mirage, not meaning. No, I say clock. Clock, 20 miles. End of explanation. Why? Because it's a clock 20 miles away. Or an oil rig. Or a lighthouse. Or an entire fucking cityscape. I just say Chicago skyline. I just say lighthouse. I just say oil rig. I just say clock. You say no. Not a clock. Not an oil rig. Not the Chicago skyline. A slightly looming non-standard refraction. 7 over 6R. Terrestrial refraction. Begging the question. Proof of nothing. Perspective hijacking. Curve calculator model. Reifying an R value into the horizon that you call a sphere edge. To make an oil rig, clock or lighthouse or entire city become a city that's not really there based on your religion. We see it. So when did I... We see it. It's there. You say it's a mirage. I've never said mirage. You're a religious you're hard globe head. You don't like the facts of your own religion. Just because you haven't verbalised it personally doesn't change the fact that that is 
the claims of your religion. You believe you're on a globe. That is your rhetoric. You don't have to like it. He doesn't realize. Oh, I know. One into religion, Nathan. He, he's saying he's not saying it. You don't have to say it. You're too stupid to realize that that's what your religion dictates. Yep. Uh, yeah, if it's not the case, it's then it's not people a people that believe that God created everything? With no, no that, that's, that's another so argument. Manus. Piece of shit. No, you've got a religion. It's called heliocentrism. It turns skylines, clocks, lighthouses and oil rigs into mirages, holograms from behind a model that says it shouldn't be there when you can see it. That's not us doing that. We just say clock. You say, let's see what the model says. Oh, the model says it shouldn't be there. So clearly it's not just a clock you can see, Mr. Flat Earth Realist. It's actually a fucking mirage. That's you. Oh, Naomi Campbell. Let's kick him out. Can, can I have a one point about the mirages? Wait a second. Let's, let's uh, summarize the point. See, he was saying, technically he's correct, he never said it. But he doesn't realize that the Baltard religion dictates that. Right. Yeah. He doesn't, he's too stupid to realize that he, he doesn't even know what he believes. That's the point. So here is the comment that I left, and... <laughs> Here's the fun and frivolity <laughs> that followed my comment. I hope you find this bit as funny as I did. I can be quite a cheeky little prick when I want to be. <laughs> the whole idea behind the Highlander movie is that there can be only one. But in reality, there are many, many. Many, many thick as two brick fuckwits like Highlander. Many, many spinning space ball religitards all suffering from word function collapse. Now, Nathan says that Highlander is stupid because he can't listen. Well, he can listen, okay, but the meaning of the words break down before his little mind can process them. Word function collapse. Observe phenomenon. Highlander's stupidity, independent variable, word function collapse. Could we science that? Now, as I noticed pretty early on after leaving um, comments... <laughs> <laughs> underneath Nathan Oakley's debate videos, you quickly get approached by um, some pretty big wankers, like this one here, Tim A. Now, my first ever um, encounter with Tim A, he spammed my um, comment with a whole bunch of garbage. And it was the same garbage that I'd seen him spamming underneath um, other comments. So I asked him one question. I said, Tim A, who brought down the Twin Towers on 9-11? and Building 7. And I'm sure you can guess his answer, where he told me that um, terrorist hijackers flew planes into them. So there you go. So I said straight away, well, there you go, Tim. Um, I have no further reason to co um, converse with you. Uh, this will be my last comment uh, in reply to, well, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I basically cut it short there because it was obvious what this guy's up to, spamming comments with um, garbage, and uh, backing up official 9-11 um, uh, official stories. So I didn't comment to that uh, reply to this guy's, this idiot's comment, but of course, uh, he wasn't alone. Another dick pipes in. And he goes by the name of Delirium. Quite an appropriate name. And he said, Anaconda Malt Liquor 17, uh, you sound like you have a map. Huh? <laughs> and me, I couldn't help myself, so I replied, Delirium, you can do better than that. If you're going to just make shit up, at least make it relevant to my comment. In my comment, there was not a single mention of what I think Earth looks like. I don't know what it looks like. And not a single mention of a map or model of any kind. And you talk some bullshit about maps. Your name says it all. Delirious. Nice try, though. I appreciate the effort but a complete fail on your behalf. 
I don't care if you have a religious belief in a magical spinning space monkey ball hurtling through an ever-expanding gas-repellent vacuum universe that created itself from nothing. You're welcome to it. You can keep it. You can rub your cock and balls against it for all I care. We most definitely do not live on a spinning ball, but you can think you do. I've got no problem with that. Enjoy your fantasy world of lies. I couldn't give two shits about what you think. Tim A, he loves his spinning ball religion too. Perhaps you two can get together and yank on each other's willies while, st- while looking at uh, CGI images from fake space. You guys could have a little big bang of your own while spinning each other's balls. It's not my problem if you can't see the obvious. You just continue to believe what the Catholics and the Jesuits have fooled you into believing. I don't care. I can't, I don't, and I won't believe it any longer. They had me under their spell for long enough. Enough said. Cheerio. Enjoy your balls. And like a lot of other things in life, these fuckwits also come in threes. Enter Chris Jones. Anaconda liquor, why is it that so many of you flat earthers are obsessed with and resort to frantic homophobic rants about the male member? Me thinks a little therapy would be beneficial to you, Anaconda. So, <laughs> Chris Jones, fucking hell, all the religiotard trolls are out today. You just can't handle when someone points out how ridiculous. Ridiculous, your spinning space ball sun worshipping religion is. Perhaps I should have said that uh, they could twiddle each other's vaginas or flick each other's clits instead. Doesn't change the fact that the Earth is not a spinning ball hurtling through an ever expanding gas repellent vacuum universe, but you can think it is if you want. And I couldn't quite leave it there, so I come back again a few seconds later, and I said, Chris Jones, P.S., me thinks a little intellectual honesty would be beneficial to you. And then <laughs> I come back again. I just couldn't leave it behind alone. Why have none of you wankers actually addressed my comment? Why is it that you can only come at me with bullshit? Unbelievable. So this fuckwit, in an attempt to get the upper hand, replied, Anaconda Maltlicker 17, I assume you're referring to your original comment, including a reference to Highlander. What would you like us to address? The incomprehensible word salad statement or the asinine question at the end? Chris Jones, yes, my original comment about Highlander not understanding quite a simple argument would be good, but if you want to talk about the spinning space ball religion, we can go there, I'm cool with that. Or we could talk about what Tim A and Delirium could do with each other's genitalia. Up to you. (laughs) What upsets you the most? A joke about uh, cock and balls? Uh, Highlander's obvious lack of comprehension skills? Or the fact that the Helio Space Monkey Ball Earth is a Catholic slash Jesuit initiated and controlled lie slash fairy tale that has duped most of the world? Which one gets your panties in a bunch the most? Anaconda Malt Liquor 17? None of that. I have read so many similar posts to yours that this is just ridiculous. I only commented on your ridiculous, facile bilge because I sincerely am intrigued by how many of you flurfers become so triggered and frustrated and resort to rudeness and insults involving sex acts, mainly homophobic based, but hey, you actually took a slight detour there. Close brackets, dickhead. More the exception proving the rule, really? And as for your comment, there is nothing in there to address in a sensible, cogent manner, so I won't take up the invitation. Thank you. (laughs) Chris Jones, do you even know why I was talking about Highlander? Did you listen to the debate, or do you just come in sniffing around the comment section in an attempt to assert some kind of intellectual superiority? (laughs) Have you no comment about the spinning ball religion? Surely you have some irrefutable evidence for your belief in that bullshit. Wait. Let me guess, star rotation in the north and south. No, 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 wait. Sunsets. Oh, I know, I know. Boats disappearing from bottom up. Come on, dude. Surely you have something of value to add here apart from your imaginings about my use of homosexual jokes about religious zealots like Tim A and Delirium. Give me something. But Chris Jones didn't want to play no more. And Chris Jones just simply said, nope. And cut my fun right there and then. (laughs) Bugger. So the fun and games ended there, but not quite. Um, I did receive one more comment in the thread to round the thread off from somebody um, from a similar heart as mine. 
Somebody who doesn't mind a little bit of a piss take. This guy, Face Gallon. You anaconda malt liquor, you've been doing it all wrong. The clit is not located underneath the left armpit like your somewhat inexperienced flat earth friends told you it was. Sometimes science books actually are right. <laughs> now, I appreciate that comment because it's a bit of a it's a bit of a piss take shit stirring comment. Not along the similar vein to what I've been doing in this comment thread all the way through. So, to which I replied, keeping my cheeky smart ass uh, uh, <laughs> thing going on. Face Gallon, holy shit! Well, if the clit's not under the left arm like I obviously thought it was, where is it? In the bum hole? I'll have to get one of these science books you're talking about. What about the cock and balls? If they're not at the back of the neck, like my grandmother taught me, where in the heck are they? Surely they're not under the left armpit. <laughs> and that rounded off that comment thread. So there you go. I hope you were entertained by that little uh, exchange just as much as I was um, being part of that exchange. Um, anyway, I'll leave it at that. Um, yeah, I've got nothing else for you. <laughs> I just wanted to share the little bit of fun and games that I had. Um, my next couple of uploads, I'm going to actually give the Nathan Oakley channel a shout out, not for um, reasons of flat earth or um, uh, reasons of science or globe debunking or anything like that, but he has two extremely good um, interviews with um, Johnny Cerucci. And if you don't know Johnny Cerucci, Johnny Cerucci is a champion of truth. I really, really enjoy um, Johnny Cerucci's research and um, the presentations of such research. And I'm going to um, uh, present those two. I'm going to, I'm going to, mirror hopefully nathan won't mind um i'm not going to ask him to ask him if i can because he gets so many comments through his videos that i'm sure he wouldn't even see me asking so i'm just going to give him a little shout out and play these incredibly good johnny cerucci interviews well the first one's more of a presentation and the second one is an interview so keep your eye out for those you will not be disappointed thank you thank you very much for watching this far um, have a great day see you later